Mr. President, uh, Mr. President, colleagues, ministers, ambassadors, dear guests, on the behalf of Estonian government, I am glad and honored to greet you all in Tallinn at the fifth international conference on theory and practice of electronic governance. As Mr. Ivar Tallo said, I accepted the proposals to be a patron for the conference because the importance of the topic discussed. E-government development can change governance, make it more effective, more transparent, more inclusive. Utilization of IT can make a big change in public sector. But even more important is how e-government implementation affects economy and society as a whole. Great interest to do today's conference shows that shared vision about e-government potential is attractive and acknowledged all over the world. It is the first time when ICE.gov conference is held in Europe, and it is symbolic that we gather here in Tallinn, capital of Estonia. Estonia, my country, is internationally known in the field of e-government. Many interesting e-government visions discussed in the world are already up and running here. Of course, we are ready to share our experiences. I think the most important experience from Estonia to share in the context of present event is the story of transformation. We believe that it is possible to transform government with the help of IT. We believe that this can be done with limited resources and quickly. Actually, we have done that. During these three days of conference, here will be held track of panels dedicated to different aspects of e-government in Estonia. I hope that sharing this knowledge will create new ground to innovative ideas, helps identify common problems and solutions, and what is most welcome, initiate new joint activities. As separate questions of e-government are comprehensively discussed during the next days, I want to point out some related issues very important to fully utilize the e-government potential. E-government makes sense if it is also used. To create conditions for flourishing e-government actual uses, specific attention should be given to the following areas. First, infrastructure. People and businesses need internet or mobile access to use e-government services. Policies that enhance the competitive deployment of networks are necessary. Also, specific measures may be needed for areas the market will not serve. In Estonia, we have initiated a project to create connection possibilities with speeds 100 megabyte per second for everybody, not depending from the location. The second, education and skills. People and businesses need certain skills to use e-government services. Basic education, lifelong learning, and simple awareness rising must support people in information society. We have paid a lot of attention to IT in education, organized campaigns to raise awareness and give basic IT skills to people in all ages. Estonian e-government academy has been active raising e-government competence among public sector decision makers in Estonia and in many countries in the world. Third, security and trust. E-government services must be secure, up and running when people need them and users must have trust to those services. In Estonia, we have worked a lot creating tools for secure services, like electronic ID guards for citizens and secure service platform called X-Road. We have acknowledged the importance of critical information infrastructure protection and launched systemic work to tackle CIAP issues. Also, we are active in European 
level. In European Union, development of common EU approach to critical information infrastructure protection is sometimes called Tallinn process, as policy formulation started from conference in Tallinn. We are living the times of globalization. E-government has to support countries to perform in global economy and also to tackle global challenges. Sharing knowledge helps to build better e-government. Some issues are even hard to solve by separate countries alone, like cybersecurity issues. Today's forum offers possibilities to work together in a beneficial way for everybody. I truly hope that you will all will take advantage of this great opportunity and have useful discussions that spark new ideas and bring us one step closer to better government, e-government. Thank you, and I wish you a pleasant stay in Tallinn, the European culture capital in, of 2011.